uh, hello all uh, this is my channel where I have been uh, putting into the github my uh, the important certain important spring boot applications which I have done as, as a proof of concept uh, to, for today we are going to just have a look into the spring rest API uh, it's just a rest API uh, functionality that I have made uh, using the spring boot uh, you can see that uh, this is my uh, in github uh, this is my repository and this is I am the user here Saborni and within this tree in the master you can see that this is the project spring rest api boot and all the relevant url will be present in the comment of the uh, video just below the link okay uh, what's the uh, utility of this particular project is that it will provide you the basic proof of concept that how spring boot can be utilized in the uh, rest api uh, functionalities so for you can easily uh, clone this one and check out in your local and import it and uh, and accordingly you can build it with a specific version of gradle generally greater than 4.5 i would prefer uh, i made my project in gradle version 5 uh, if i come back to the now uh, this is the uh, application which is already been uh, present in the github uh, this is the uh, main uh, application which is nothing but a spring rest api but here uh, what what does the, the structure as you can see is that here is the src within the src you can find it main java and resources and this is the test package the test module i am not interested in that currently so whatever changes that i have done is in the main module so in the main there are two folders java and resources in resources you would be finding the application properties where you want if you want to change and uh, also but first of all you have to know a very basic language knowledge of spring boot what does what is it it's nothing but an interface where uh, it interconnects the spring framework along with a, a particular server it can be jt it can be tomcat so here i have used uh, tomcat here uh, this is the application properties where in case you want to change the port of the particular application uh, spring boot application while we are running it it would get hosted to an app, a particular port so if you want to change that port you can do it with the help of this is the port that I have provided here server dot port okay and in case if you do not keep anything it would be picking up the value of 8080 which is the default port so this is the structure uh, here this is the main application which we all need to uh, run this is the main thing uh, here is spring boot application where within that uh, the main method is there and in that main method the spring application is invoking is running this application with specific arguments whatever that is provided in the main with the main function so uh, now we come on to the uh, model and controller part here this nothing but uh, we I haven't used any sort of uh, databases in this case only just a static list I have used here this is the uh, book uh, a particular book would have uh, this following attributes like a particular id along with its uh, book name and along with its price so and all the relevant things uh, the gators and setters uh, i have put it uh, in the book class and in the controller you would be able to see there are different types of methods where it would be uh, serving as different sorts of apis like the uh, here uh, the, it's a book controller where the, the you, you will be finding a book list it's a private list a book list it's not a static list it's just taken a generic list every time the application which you will be running in uh, this uh, new list new array list would be declared and uh, an atomic id is as atomic long in order to uh, or to increment the whatever mm, book entries we are putting into the book list so first method is will be an add book and here is the second method to check the list of books get book lists and here is uh, if you want to check get book by id and uh, finally here you in case you want to 
delete a particular uh, book by id so first of all uh, let us just uh, run the application i'm going to run it over here it will be taking a bit of time but not much so here is our application which is getting up and active now it's the application is up and the you can see that uh, the runtime is about uh, 9.0 seconds 9.086 seconds about 10 seconds uh, and, and the application is hosted onto the port of 8080 right now let me do one thing clear the window and uh, I hope you all would have a raised API with the help of REST API first of all so so uh, this is our particular home page till 8080 since the port is there localhost colon 8080 then slash now what we are doing is uh, say we want to uh, utilize this particular API say add book so we would be utilizing uh, slash add book and but where should we keep it slash add book should be kept here okay and uh, and uh, here in add book method what what it does is that simply we are posting a book details say book name is jungle lore and the price is 20.2 we haven't used any sort of uh, currency or uh, like that uh, so what does uh, this particular method does is uh, it will the request with the help of request body basically here uh, the JSON uh, entry which we are giving uh, it would actually um, refer to this particular uh, request body and uh, which is which will be a book object it will audio, uh, automatically convert uh, convert it into an object of book and uh, the its ID would be set at ID uh, dot increment and get since we are using an atomic long here so after that it would be simply adding into this book list this particular book and we are just uh, printing this book as an object and returning this object so let's see how our code behaves in this case say so, so it's a post method and uh, let us just push it off so you can easily see that you're getting a 200 response which shows that it's already transfer is uh, already done successfully and since and you will be able to see this json response with book id as one because the default id would be taken as one since atomic long atomic uh, long we are using utilizing here and uh, since uh, this book is returned uh, so wherever uh, we are requesting this that particular method invoking it with the help of the rest api it would be returning this object cool uh, now next uh, um, add, let us add a couple of more uh, entries for this one say um, pirates pirates say pirates pirates is the name and the price is about uh, 29.26 okay and this is also a post api post service now we are we have done this and you can see it has also written pirates now if we try to have another entry and uh, the price as this let us also put it so we are getting a 400 a bad exception so let us see what we have messed out something okay we have just missed a quote here and now we have also pushed in to the list with the help of the mm, wave api okay now in case you want to see that what you have added into the list you want to see the entire thing so this is the method and which would get invoked if uh, we use like this look book list mm. uh, but remember one thing 
दिस विल बी अ गेट मेथड Now, when we are getting it, we would be able to see that in the list, all three entries are there, and the book IDs have increased gradually as one, two, three. Great. Now, how we are going to understand that if a particular method we want to make it, it would be a gate service or post service. Suppose we want to add an object, object of book. So here, what we are doing is we are using this post mapping. This post mapping will do everything, and uh, our application would. be identified and this particular class would be identified as a controller with the help of this annotation at the rate rest controller correct uh, okay so it will be post mapping and since the book list we are getting a book trying to fetch the entire list this is a um, gate mapping so likewise now if we want to get a particular book by we have to get a particular book by id we will be uh, doing the same thing over here and it would also be a get uh respond get uh, call uh say say we want to get a book by id of 2 okay so you can see that this is the uh book reference book id that you were getting this is the object that you were getting So suppose uh, we want to add, uh, we want to fetch, say twenty two. This is not yet added, so you would be getting expecting an error here. So here no content, zero bytes, nothing is returned here. So let's once have a look at what uh, are the loggers that are present in the console. You can see that not found. Whatever it will be found, it would be returning this. okay and if we now come back to the last one delete the book list we are going to remove this is the main driving uh, line here of this particular method we are trying to now one not one thing you haven't uh, noticed yet i have i forgot to just uh, highlight this one that uh, along with the book there is this particular id tag we are showing and where it's coming in the request itself request of the uh, URL itself, and this is mapped with the path variable, which is ID, and this is the book ID. It's referencing to, great. And uh, now uh, with delete by ID, we would be deleting the entries over here, and uh, let's uh, do it here. Delete. Okay, let's see. It's showing some sort of. Okay, let's have a look into the. Okay. Uh, we need to check this one whether this particular delete a uh, API is working or not. Uh, so as you can see, similarly, likewise, you just need to modify some sort of logic over here to get it work properly. Because as I can see that it's showing that it's getting deleted. Price it got deleted. Uh, let us have a quick look of the get book list. Okay, it's still returning all the three. Mm, we can still work on the improvements of this particular uh, delete mapping. Uh, you can check out in the uh, in Google that uh, how to implement this thing. But uh, uh, this is the basic, just uh, mm, uh, this is the basic structure of a particular any sort of REST controller. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, would be looking forward to you. uh for any queries you just put a comment on the video and uh, have a look to my github profile if you want to thank you everyone